Hello, I'm Megan Lidke, the Director of Sustainability Programs here at American University. Today, members of the Office of Sustainability will take you on a virtual sustainability tour of our campus. We'll take a look at some of the buildings, programs, and innovations that help to make American University a leader in sustainability. After the video, you'll have the opportunity to get out of the classroom and take a look at some of these sustainable features on our campus in person. To start, let's make sure that we have a common understanding of the term sustainability. Sustainability means meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. It's about using our resources responsibly and protecting biodiversity, but it's also about making sure that people today and in the future can thrive. The concept of sustainability is comprised of three pillars, environment, society, and economy. When these three pillars meet, that is, when a system is good for the environment, people, and the economy, we get closer to achieving sustainability. At American University, we are constantly working to make our systems better and more efficient. In this video, you'll see just a few ways that AU is working toward being sustainable. The Office of Sustainability was founded in 2009 after AU signed Second Nature's Climate Commitment. Through this commitment, American University acknowledged the threat of climate change, the role humans play in releasing greenhouse gas emissions, and the unique role universities can play in fighting climate change and educating students about it. The Office of Sustainability was created to assess the university's impact on the environment and work with the community to determine how we can lessen that impact. Since then, we've been working across the campus to measure and report on a wide variety of sustainable activities as well as expand sustainability programs. Each year, we measure and report on our total greenhouse gas emissions, the number of sustainability-related courses that are being taught, what environmental research is being conducted, our diversity and inclusion programs, and many other campus initiatives. Some of these initiatives are related to the design, construction, and operation of our campus buildings. According to the EPA, the average American will spend 90% of their life indoors. So it's important that we keep our indoor spaces as healthy as possible for our students, staff, and faculty. One way we do that is through LEED certification. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. It's an international rating system for green buildings. All new buildings in AU must achieve at least LEED Gold certification and major renovations of our older buildings must also achieve LEED certification. This ensures that environmental and human health impacts are considered throughout the entire construction and design process. A great example of green building design on campus is the School of International Service. Our first LEED certified building, the SIS building, was intentionally designed to be visible and educational model of sustainability. The building features solar hot water panels that reduce the amount of energy used and low flow faucets and toilets to reduce water usage. Many windows allow natural light to flood into the main atrium, offices, and classrooms, which reduce the amount of lighting needed in the space. Windows are also particularly important for human health as natural light can increase the productivity and well-being of a building's occupants. Another example of green design on campus is Cassell Hall our first LEED certified residence hall. Cassell Hall uses 46% less water than a standard building through efficient water fixtures and low flow toilets. But improvements to our buildings will stop with LEED certification. Recently, our facilities management team upgraded the lighting fixtures in the Cassell Fitness Center to LED bulbs. This will save nearly 30,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year, which is the equivalent of driving a car more than 50,000 miles. In addition, several buildings outside of AU's main campus are LEED certified. The Washington College of Law earned LEED certification in 2015 and features a 2,500 square foot green roof, AU's largest green roof installation. During building construction, 90% of construction waste was diverted from going to a landfill through recycling and material reuse. 
Just as we think about our indoor spaces, it's important to consider our outdoor areas. Did you know that AU is home to more than 3,700 trees? Our entire 84-acre campus is a certified arboretum, meaning that the university's grounds are used for educational and research purposes related to plant life and the environment. Certified arborists and facilities management care for our plants and maintain a dedicated tree inventory. They also ensure that our campus is a beautiful resource for not only the AU community, but the surrounding community too. Our neighborhood is also home to several gardens that are open to everyone. AU's Community Garden is run by a student organization, and they host events and garden work days throughout the year. The AU Beekeeping Society is another student organization that maintains our campus beehive located on a green roof on the Mary Graydon Center. There are also numerous edible plants integrated into landscaping across campus. Stormwater management is also a huge priority for American University in the entire DC region. Many neighborhoods in D.C. utilize the combined sewage overflow system. This means that stormwater and sewage combine and are transported through the same underground pipes. This creates a huge problem when it rains. If D.C. receives even one-third of an inch of rain, these systems can overflow, dumping polluted rainwater and sewage into our local streams and rivers. Through sustainable technology, we're working to keep rainwater on campus instead of allowing it to flow into nearby drains. When rainwater flows off of buildings, parking lots, and walkways, it carries pollutants with it, like trash, oil, and fertilizer chemicals. The more we can collect excess water and reuse it for irrigation or help rainwater to soak into the ground, the less pollution will be washed into our storm drains and ultimately our local waterways. What does stormwater management look like on our campus? It looks like green roofs on more than 10 campus buildings. Green roofs not only help to keep buildings insulated, but they're also great at absorbing rainwater before it has a chance to run off the building. We're also invested in rain gardens across campus, vibrant plantings that can soak up a large amount of rainwater. Finally, the patio area outside the School of International Service features a bioretention basin. Not too long ago, AU had many surface parking lots. Now we've turned those spaces into green spaces and more sustainable buildings, which ultimately helps us manage our stormwater more effectively. And a majority of our parking is now located in underground garages. This shift from parking lots to green spaces also aligns with AU's transportation priorities. We're working to promote sustainable transportation options over driving. Our parking garages include bicycle repair stations and electric vehicle charging stations. We host Capital Bike Share Docks and we offer a commuter benefit for staff and faculty who bike to work. By giving every student a Metro U Pass, we're incentivizing students to explore DC by Metro Bus and Metro. At AU, you will see in buildings across our campus the three bin waste system. This system includes not only the trash bin that's meant for the landfill, but also includes the compost bin and the recycling bin. A few tips for proper sorting. All food, napkins, and even greasy pizza boxes can be composted. If a disposable utensil or container has a label saying it's compostable, it can be composted. Recyclable products include clean glass, plastic, aluminum, and paper products. These can all go into the recycling bins. Anything else must go into the landfill bin. When in doubt, you should probably throw everything into the landfill bin as to not contaminate the rest of the bins. If you are curious, you can always reach out to the sustainability or zero waste offices for clarification on what trash should go into which bin. Plastic bags, electronics, and batteries sadly can't be recycled in the bins across campus. However, there are special collection bins for these items available in the library and other locations on campus. You may have heard that in 2018, American University became the first university, research institution, and urban campus to achieve carbon neutrality. But what is carbon neutrality? Carbon neutrality means we've eliminated or offset all of our greenhouse gas emissions, so our net emissions are now zero. First, we calculated how much carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases we release into the atmosphere from our daily operations. We measure emissions from our electricity and natural gas use, commuting and campus vehicles, air travel for university business and study abroad, landfill waste, and a few other small categories. 
First, we reduced our energy use on campus by upgrading our facilities and encouraging individuals to reduce their energy use. In facilities management, we conducted efficiency projects like swapping traditional light bulbs for LEDs, automating building systems, and conducting energy audits that decreased our campus energy use per square foot by more than 20% between 2005 and 2017. Then, we invested in renewable energy. We've installed approximately 2,500 solar panels on our campus. While it may sound like a lot of solar panels, it only provides about a half of a percent of our total electricity use so we needed to think bigger. In a partnership with George Washington University and George Washington University Hospital, we built three large solar farms in North Carolina with about a quarter of a million panels. These solar farms are located within our energy grid and provide about 50% of our electricity. At the time it was constructed, our solar farms were the largest solar array that had ever been built by a non-utility in the United States. To meet the rest of our electricity needs, we purchased Renewable Energy Credits, or RECs. These credits equate to real energy produced from renewable sources like wind and solar. We purchase these credits to cover the electricity that our local utility provider generates, which is not necessarily renewable. Finally, we had to account for emissions from sources that cannot be replaced with renewable energy. Study abroad travel, ground transportation, and waste disposal all generate emissions that cannot be completely eliminated with our current technology. So, we purchased carbon offsets to balance the scale. Carbon offsets are generated from projects that take carbon out of the atmosphere or eliminate emissions somewhere else. For example, to offset commuting, we planted 650 trees in Southeast DC with a local organization, the Anacostia Watershed Society. Reaching carbon neutrality was not our end goal. It doesn't mean that our work is done. There are many more ways that our campus can become even more efficient, healthier, more environmentally responsible, and better equipped to manage the effects of climate change that are coming. We invite you to get involved with sustainability here on campus. You could take a class with a certified green teacher. You could join an environmental student organization. You can compost your food waste after you eat, and you can educate yourself about the world that we live in. Get started today by visiting our website and by following us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Climate change will disproportionately affect our global society's most vulnerable populations but it will also affect you, me, and the entire AU community. How can you make a change in your own life during your time at AU to improve the world that we all live in?